Welcome to Auto Shenanigans. How the devil are you? Have you had a good week? My name is John, and thank you very much for joining me for another exciting episode of Motoring Oddities. Today, we've come to Maidenhead, a town situated within the Royal Borough of Windsor and Maidenhead, situated in Berkshire. Now, I had a good look around for interesting things to say about Maidenhead, and all of my research kept pointing me in the direction of a railway bridge built in 1839 by Isambard Kingdom Brunel. The Maidenhead Railway Bridge carries the railway across the River Thames on a deck supported by a pair of elliptical arches, which, at the time of construction, were the widest and flattest in the world. There's a your mum joke in there somewhere. Each arch has a span of 120 28 feet, but only a rise of 24 feet. The flatness of the arches was deemed necessary to avoid an unnecessary hump in the middle of the road. Road? Roadhouse. The flatness of the arches was deemed necessary to avoid creating a raised hump on the deck of the bridge. This would have gone against Brunel's practice of building railway lines with flat or gentle gradients. The benefits of this, of course, was reduced running costs and higher achievable speeds for the engines. I'm now standing underneath the Maidenhead Railway Bridge. The Thames towpath still allows you access. And the archway you see behind me is called the sounding arch because, due to its design, it produces an absolutely fantastic reverberation. Hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate that. I've switched the microphones around a little bit, so let's give it a go. I love Mere Bridge, and a fine example it is too. But if that's all there is to say, then surely that makes Maidenhead a bit of a nothing town. Looking slightly further afield then, across Berkshire you've other wonderful towns such as Reading or Berkshire's most dangerous town, Slough. During the 60s, Slough was home to the Thunderbirds, so that means Tracy Island is in Slough. It's also home to the Mars Corporation. And whilst Mars is certainly an American company, the Mars Bar was developed in Slough in 1932. It's now sold across the world, but interestingly, they don't sell it in America. On a more motoring related note, Slough is also home to the government's road research laboratory and found itself quite often being the guinea pig for multiple road and traffic related experiments. For example, it was in Slough that they tested the first give way signs and single yellow lines. And it was also the site of the first zebra crossing in 1951. If like me, you're fascinated by zebra crossings, then why not check out this video here where I visited the UK's smallest zebra crossing. So it turns out Slough is quite an interesting shithole of a town. It's a shame that this video is not really about that. Let's get back to Maidenhead. What you will find in Maidenhead is England's shortest signposted motorway. I'm covering my ass quite nicely there, I think, because the shortest motorway in the UK is actually in Glasgow, but I'm not driving all the way up there, so we're going to stick to England for now. You may also argue that the A635M in Manchester is the shortest motorway. However, it seems upon my research that that sort of closed or ended in 2016, and it doesn't actually show up on any road signs or anything like that. So there's absolutely nothing to show for its existence. I think we can discount that on this occasion. Small details aside, we've come to look at the A308 brackets M. Just how short is England's shortest motorway? Well, it's one kilometre long because that sounds much better than 0.6 miles. But how did it get here? What's the point? And why did anybody even bother? It's quite a long and convoluted story, so I'll try and keep it brief. Back in the 60s, the A4 brackets M, or as it was known then, the M4, used to follow the route of today's A404 brackets M. Quite a lot of numbers for one section of road, isn't it? A short time later, they just... A short time later, they decided to extend the M4 to the west, with the plan being to continue building the M4 around the top of Reading. This plan ended up being changed, and they routed the M4 to the south of Reading, which is what gives us the M4 we know and love today. However, at the time, they needed to find somewhere to route what was now the old M4, so they solved that by building a motorway junction. Job jobbed. Except it wasn't. Just up the road was Junction 8 of the M4, which had already existed for quite some time. And whilst it wasn't a major junction or anything like like that, it presented quite a problem because of its close proximity to the proposed new junction. I believe the worry was the traffic coming on and off the motorway at the junctions close together would have been quite dangerous, apparently. So they fucked that off and closed Junction 8 in order to build the new interchange or motorway junction. Great, except it wasn't. Previously, if you wanted to join the A308 from the motorway, you'd have left at Junction 8 and it would have taken mere seconds. But hello, they've closed the junction. 
so now you'd be required to take a detour of several minutes, and this just isn't ideal at all. And so they built the A308 Brackets M to link the M4 from its new interchange through to the A308, keeping access between the A308 and the motorway intact and making everybody's life easier in the process. In building the A308 Brackets M, they perhaps accidentally created England's shortest signposted motorway. Remember I said earlier that they extended the M4? Well, before they did that, the road used to take a different route as mentioned. Just a little interesting point to make that if you have a look on satellite images, you can actually see the previous route that the road would have taken. And that's where I am now. So this would have been the old M4 slash A404, A4M, whatever the hell it was back then. Now it's just and there we are, that's all for today guys. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, then there's a button specifically for that. And if you wouldn't mind helping me out with that all important subscribe, it'd be much appreciated. Enjoy the rest of your week, whatever it is you get up to. My name's John, you've been watching Auto Shenanigans, and I shall see you guys next time for another exciting episode of Motoring Oddities. Until then, take care, see ya, bye. Keep waving, bye. Roll credits, keep waving, bye. See you guys. <laughs> Cock. Cock.